We're here today to announce the results of a approximate six-month investigation, a 25-count indictment against uh, Dr. Husel for murder. How did we get here? Let me express my deepest condolences to the families. You gotta be joking. It can't be. Why would a Why would he do that? Here. Okay. Um. A place where families are reliving pain. We're all hurting. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all horrified. Here, a place where a doctor is accused of killing his own patients. Dr. Husel, do you have any answers as to why? Uh, no comment. Is it fair that you're walking out of jail today? Uh, no comment again. Sorry. Do you have anything you can say to the dozens of families who are hurting right now? Never did Dr. Husel or anyone on his team have the intent to speed up a patient's death. So how did we get here? In this series, we will answer that question and others and explain to you how we broke the story of the patient overdose scandal at Mount Carmel. It is more than just the story of a lone doctor accused of giving his patients too much pain medication. It's much more than that. It's about a series of missteps, miscues, and miscalculations on the part of a health organization that helped contribute to a tragedy. I was just wondering if you might have some time to talk with me. So we called Dr. William Husel on January 14th. That's the same day we went on air with the story. Do you, have you already retained a lawyer? Is there someone I could call? He declined to comment, telling me to contact his attorney. We had been working on this story for several days, acting on a vague tip that a doctor had been dismissed from the hospital. We were pushing our sources for more information, and we were able to get a hold of some internal memos from the hospital showing that the doctor had not lived up to the hospital standards of care. The day we went on air with the story was the day that first lawsuit was filed. It was also the same day that Mount Carmel released a video statement. Hello, I'm Ed Lamb, president and CEO at Mount Carmel Health System. So Mount Carmel put out this video announcing that Dr. William Husel had been fired and that over five years he had ordered significantly excessive and potentially fatal doses of pain medication that had been given to 27 near-death patients they all died. The hospital at the time also announced that it was suspending 23 nurses and pharmacists for their roles in administering these drugs. On behalf of Mount Carmel and Trinity Health, our parent organization, we apologize for this tragedy and we're truly sorry for the additional grief this may have caused the families. What we would later learn is that the hospital created a second video. This one was only sent out to staffers and in part laid blame. Sadly, our investigation revealed that some of our colleagues did not meet our standard of care. The actions that created this tragedy were instigated by this physician and carried out by a small number of good people who made poor decisions. They ignored the safeguards we have in place. So in that second video, Ed Lamb appears to lay some blame on the staffers, which is different from the video that was released to the public. We take responsibility for the fact that the processes in place were not sufficient to prevent these actions from happening. What we would later learn is that the hospital had been investigating for months and that when it first learned of an allegation involving Dr. Husel's patient care, in between the time they learned that and when they removed him, three more patients died, something we would attempt to press the hospital on later. Was there any chance to remove him not prior to that? Not before October, no. No, one, no upper level management knew prior to that? No. 